Hi. Hello. Well, this interesting video is going to be about school this this round. And well, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how you can um you know, if you ever had to follow the grievance and all that stuff. A lot of stuff they do teach you in freshman development or freshman studies or whatever. My school calls it freshman seminar, so either way. But I'm going to show you briefly and share a tip that, you know, that might be helpful if you're ever in a situation like that. Okay, number one. If this is the number one thing that you want to have on you handy. It's all your classes, the syllabus for each class. Here's the why or why you want that. Because if you have to, let's say, have a problem with an instructor or something like that, it's going to have two things on there, too. It has your instructor's name. It has the, sometimes the office hours, where the office is, and the email and the phone number. Sometimes it also has the department head. A way to get in contact with them too. So my today's video is going to be about following the grievance. And I don't know how every university is, but mine, you gotta follow certain protocol. Cause the you don't want to be that person to just call the complaining of the president and. He, he or she would not be happy and you go know, fuss at every person possible. You know, no, don't be that way. No, no, no. The first thing you would do if you ever come to a problem, let's say I'm going to say my professor, well, so and so, let's put a so and so there because I don't know who's the name, and I have a problem with a topic in a class. Or so, and or my grades, or whatever. Okay, or whatever the the issue is. I'm not gonna be very specific on this, but this is how you solve it. First of all, this is me, and this is my situation, and I have a certain issue with an instructor. I would have taken it to the instructor first. Here's the why I do this, because sometimes. Instructors have office hours where students can, you know, come in, you know. I would either ask them in person or sometimes I would be going to email them first. To say, hey, may I come meet with you? Be our problem. In the nicest way I can do. And then let's say if I'm unhappy with the situation. Do I go to the process? No. No, no, no. You go, I would go to the next hierarchy up. So, if the teacher's decision makes me stressed out, I would go into his or her department head. This is the person in charge of that person right there. And they'll say, I would be like, you know, communicating with the problems here and there. And... If this department head uh, still stresses me out more, then the next ultimate step is going to the dean of that department and continuing on from there. So the last thing, the president, hmm, the very last thing on that list. And I'm not using that as the first. I'm following the hierarchy and... If you want to survive school, the hierarchy is your best friend right now. Thank you.